Before using 3D Studio Max, it's always a really good idea to make sure that you've got all your settings correctly set up. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go through a few things very, very quickly and just make sure that 3D Studio Max is set the way that we want it to be. Remember that this is like every other program, it's got factory default settings. Now we can always go back to those factory default settings, but it's always a good idea just to change them, just to alter them, just to make sure the program is going to work the way that we're expecting it to. Now the first thing that I want to talk about is the unit setup. By default, every time I make something inside of 3D Studio Max, so for example if I make a box just here and I left click and I push up, when I look at that in the modify panel, it's got here just a value of 74.251 for the length, but it's not telling me what those units are. One thing you've got to bear in mind is that these are all inches. By default, 3D Studio Max works in inches. So that's 74.251 inches. We don't necessarily want that. If you're working in architecture and you're working in Europe, you'll probably be working in millimeters, in metric. If you're working in games or film and television and you're working in Europe, again, you'll probably be working in centimeters. Things are different if you work in the US, obviously, but in the UK, certainly, it's centimeters for film, television and game, millimeters for architectural visualization. So I need to be able to change those quite easily and quite quickly inside the interface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to where it says Customize and click on that drop down. And I'm going to go all the way down to where it says Unit Setup. So I'll click on Unit Setup and up comes the Unit Setup dialog. Now it's very, very easy for people to believe that if I click on Metric and I go to Millimeters that that's it, that I've set what I needed to set to be you know, the internal units to be Millimeters. In actual fact, that's not exactly true. If you read this, it says the display unit scale. What I have to do is I have to come up here, and where it says system unit setup, this is in actual fact a button. It's probably one of the best disguised buttons that you've ever seen. But if I click on it, I now have another dialog box come up, which is my system unit setup. And that says that one unit equals 0.1, and we've got here inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that to millimeters. So what we're now doing is we're now saying that that should actually be one unit equals one millimeters yeah, or centimeters or whatever it is that you're going to work in. We don't need to worry about the origin or the distance from the origin or the res resulting accuracy because uh, really to be honest with you I've never actually touched those before because there's been no need. It's only these options here. yeah. So I'll click OK on that if I know that I'm going to be working in millimeters and I don't want to have to worry about having millimeters written after this every single time, I don't have to do this. If I click OK now, you'll notice that this has changed to become 74.251 millimeters. If I come back to customize and say unit setup again, if I then go and I say from metric, uh, sorry, if I then click on generic units rather and I click on OK, you'll now notice that we have got 74.251 and then there's nothing after it and what you've just got to remember is the fact that you are actually working in millimeters and that you know that's what you're working in really um, if anyone else comes to use your machine they may well need to be told that you're working in millimeters or you know if you're working in a studio and that's what everyone works in then you know yeah you won't have to worry about it quite so much so that's how you set up the units or that's how you correctly set the unit setup inside of 3D Studio Max. Again, remember, if you're working in the States or you're working in metric, you won't have to worry about that. If you work in architectural visualization, it's probably millimeters. Games and television, you want to look at setting um, centimeters. There we go. And if you're going to be doing large site plans, maybe meters. There we go. It's as simple as that.